15 hours of non-stop pet adoptions. It's all part of Beastie Bonanza. The goal is to find a new home for at least 30 pets. Meteorologist Tim Jones joins us live from Startover Rover in Hastings. Tim, how many adoptions are they at now? You know what? I'm going to let Ann answer that in just a moment <laughs> because she's the expert. But I tell you what, we're in hour number 11, if you can believe it. Can you tell by the bags under my eyes? I'm trying to stay awake. We're pumping the caffeine. But, you know, this is for a great cause, and we're doing pretty well. It's been just nonstop traffic. The community is doing a fantastic job with getting involved. Of course, I wouldn't expect any less here in the city of Hastings. And we'll talk to Ann in just a moment. Let's take a look at the forecast. Obviously, this time last night, we were dealing with quite a bit of severe weather, but things are luckily quiet right now. Temperatures haven't been too bad. Here's a look at the radar. You can see some, uh, some thunderstorms pushing through the panhandle right now. That's pushing off to the east. So we'll have a chance for an isolated shower thunderstorm overnight tonight. In the meantime, temperatures have been back in the 80s. A little humid out there. The wind's breezy once again, which we'd expect when we get that southerly wind, and that'll happen. It's going to be pretty hot, sticky, and muggy as we get through the next couple days. And as we look at tonight, well, overnight, it'll be right around 70 degrees. As I, as I said again, uh, hit or miss shower at thunderstorm. Wind's a little breezy, and tomorrow will be in the 90s, which we'll talk about main weather. Now I want to bring it in. The lady who can't say no to an animal. The, the, <laughs> because of your generosity and kindness, you're almost bursting at the seams, right? Always, always. Okay, so we have a moment. About a month and a half ago, we were sitting here doing our normally our normal pet of the week deal, mm -hmm. and you were telling me how you were, had so many animals, and we and I said, let's do this adoptathon. And mm -hmm. so here we are today. Where are we at with everything? We are at 19 animals That's now. That's fantastic. That is awesome. 19 animals have left so far today. Um, we're hoping for some more applications. Still, we're starting to see a bunch more people coming in again. Good. Just starting our evening festivities. Um, Which are? We have, I think, burgers and hot dogs are out there now. The dunk tank. We have some children's games. I did walk through the big dog yard, and there is a big dog swimming in their pool as well. Oh, nice. I don't <laughs> so, Anybody going to be in the dunk tank that you know? Oh, I know lots of people, and I'm looking at one of them. <laughs> and I think the rest of the night crew is coming in, too. Oh, so you can see into the camera and see Katie and Colin because they're coming, too. <laughs> I know <laughs> they are. And Ed. Don't forget Ed. I heard we've, he was coming. Yep, we've got Ed coming. So, okay, so here's the deal. you got plenty of time to come down. We're going to be here till midnight, all night. The fun's just getting rolling. But, you know, on top of that, is there anything else that we need to accomplish here? We want to raise a few more bucks, but more importantly, we need to, we need to adopt out at we least 11 more animals. At least 11 more animals we want to adopt out yet tonight. And if you want to come in and see about volunteering and how much fun it is, we invite you to come in today. Okay, that's it for now, guys. I've got a really interesting story with a little with a young lady that wants to adopt a special needs pet. Stick around for that. That's going to be quite an interview, guys. Awesome. Sounds good. Thank you, Tim. All right, I can't wait for the dunk tank. That's what I really <laughs> want to see Tim get in there. In other news tonight, it's a great day to adopt a pet. Let's take a live look at some of the action. <laughs> it's Start Over Rover. Oh my goodness, have we ever had better videos? Video. I don't think so. The goal adopt 30 pets by midnight. Tim is live at the Beastie Bonanza. Tim has all the details next on News 5 at 5. This cat is not even bothered. <laughs> All right, Tim Jones back at uh, Start Over Rover for that first ever Beastie B uh, Bonanza here. It's been a fantastic day. We've been here since 6 o'clock in the morning. I can't, I'm overwhelmed by how the positive response for the community. We've had almost 20 animals uh, adopted out so far. I think we have more applications coming and uh, we've raised some money. It's been fantastic. Matter of fact, I really expect no less from this community and I'm really proud to be part of it. In the meantime, we'll take a look at the weather. In the forecast, then we're going to talk to a really neat young lady that's take, undertaking a really special project with a special needs dog. In the meantime, radar is pretty quiet in our area. We have a couple of thunderstorms off to the west in the Panhandle. I anticipate some of that to move our, our way overnight, but I don't expect anything like what we had last night uh, with severe weather-wise. Although tomorrow will be a different story, I think, with some chances for large hail and damaging winds uh, later on tomorrow afternoon to the west, and then in our area tomorrow night. In the meantime, temperatures across the area really have been not too bad, but a little humid out there. Uh, we've seen mostly in the 80s and some 90s down to the southwest, normal areas where we see those uh, warmer temperatures, but low to mid 80s around here. That's not anything yet because we're going to see 90s, even 100s, hundreds tomorrow. We'll get that in a moment uh, as we look at the forecast for tonight. As I said, we'll keep a couple isolated uh, to scattered thunderstorms around the area. Be pretty warm and muggy overnight tonight, even though we'll have a little bit of a breeze. We'll be right around that 70 degree mark overnight tonight. Uh, showers and thunderstorms, anything that does get going, move our way, will push off in the overnight hours, giving way to a pretty warm start in the morning and daytime highs pushing right up to the mid uh, 80s to even 90. Ainsworth, Central City, around the 
that 90 degree mark back to the southwest. We'll see those mid 90s. And winds will be breezy in some places as well with the chance of that uh, evening thunderstorm. And as we look here, look at that northern Kansas in the uh, century mark here. Pretty warm and humid there with low 90s uh, around our area, maybe mid 90s as well. And we'll see those low to mid 90s back off to the east in Lincoln, Beatrice, as well as uh, Seward and York as well. So looking at that seven day forecast. Well, we'll keep those warm temperatures around, but look what happens after we get through the weekend. We've got those chances for showers and thunderstorms through the weekend, and then a pretty strong cold front for this time of year crashes through the area, just barely getting into the mid-70s. And I tell you what, folks, we may struggle to get to that mark as we get closer to that event, but those overnight temperatures crash down from upper 60s to 70 down to the low 50s. So. Quite a big weather change, but you know what? After all this hot and humid weather, it's going to be kind of a nice change. And I want to bring in right now. This is Max, and your name is again Morgan. Morgan, and you're a uh, you're a student at uh, Hastings High, right? Yep. Okay, so this is Max, and we featured Max a couple weeks ago, and he's really a special needs guy because he was abused, right? Yeah. And so you want you're going to adopt him, right? Yeah, he's going to come home with us as soon as he gets the chance. Once he's ready to adopt, he's going to get a cart to help him walk. And then once he gets that, he'll come home with us. Okay, so do you know when that's going to be, or is it just kind of a wait uh, and see? Pretty soon, because he can come home right after. So as soon as they find wheels for the cart, he can come. Okay. I mean, the, you know, you said you're 15. I mean, this is, a, is your family going to participate with this? I mean, this is a pretty big undertaking. Uh, they better participate, because we have a whole another dog. And we're going to see. They, pr they should get along, and then... My family, he's part of the family already, so. Yeah. So, I mean, I'll ask you the obvious question. I mean, so many people would come here and they could choose a different dog that's, that's not special needs. Why Max? He just kind of stuck out to me. He, he had a certain attitude to him that he just, he wanted, he wanted some family that was special and he deserves it. And I think we can do that for him. That's really cool. I mean, I'm sure the folks watching at home are like, you know, this is a real, uh, uh, courageous young lady, you know, <laughs> that could that could adopt any pet here, and you want to take one that really needs the extra love and attention. So I'm sure, you know, I speak for a lot of people say what yeah. you're doing is really cool. Yeah, he gets the attention because I come in here every day and sit with him, and we just kind of hang out together, and we've created a real bonding. So I got to ask you, do most girls your age come to start over over and hang out with the pets and, and show them some love and care? I don't even think I've seen one person I know. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I mean I don't see a whole lot of young people here. So I mean I think you gotta give, don't give yourself a pat on the back now because you're old Max. Yeah, but, Max uh, might fall. Yeah, that's right. Well, listen, congratulations Thank to you. you. I think it's really cool what you're doing. Thank you. And you know we'd like to kind of follow your progress as we get through and see how the little guy's doing. Yeah, he'll be fine. All right. So Colin, Katie, pretty cool story here from a courageous young lady taking on a courageous young little puppy dog and this is Max and uh, we'll kind of follow his story along as we get through time. Guys back to you. So sweet and congratulations Morgan what a happy day that's so fun. Yeah. We were both down at the Beastie Bonanza earlier today and saw some happy families down there taking some dogs away yeah, so it's very exciting for them. Definitely a lot of fun and hey get down there still plenty of time to go yes. see Tim and come later we'll be at the dunk tank. And After we'll the fun. six o'clock show we're all going to be down there so you'll have to come out and check it out. Let's get another check out at the Beastie Bonanza, see how things are going out there. Tim's live for us. Tim, special guest with you, huh? <laughs> yeah, look who I found, guys. Hey. Oh. What's your name, young lady? Well, my name is Shelby Fencer, and you all should be out here instead of sitting at home and watching on your TV. Yeah, well, I couldn't agree more. So how does it look out here on the, from the other end of the camera when you were in the studio? Things are a little different out here, huh? Oh, yes. I mean, this morning when we were talking, they'd adopted maybe six. We're up to 19 now. It's just a great day. A lot of fun out here and a lot of evening festivities starting. And you and here. Simon might make it 20, right? We'll see. We'll see. There may be some things in the works. All right. Thanks for joining me. It's good to <laughs> see you. Too. All right, guys. Back to you. There's a lot All of right. famous people there. I know. We she, gotta head out there. She should get to work. She's still wearing <laughs> the same thing from earlier today. I think. Or to sleep. <laughs> She's gotta wake up soon. We'll be right back after this.